guys, LPS Rainbow here, and today I'll be showing you how to make LPS jackets. Now, let me just show you what it looks like. Some of you have seen these in my episodes of Small Chains Big Difference, and this is a jacket I made. This is what it looks like on the LPS. So, I'll be showing you how to make that. The ingredients, I mean, so the materials you'll be needing are scissors, super glue, I'm using whatever brand this is, tin foil, paper, I'm just using this little sticky note that I have so I don't waste paper, pencil, fabric. When choosing a fabric, I recommend using one that doesn't fray as much at the ends. So, for example, this one, you can see it was really hard to cut and it's like the edges are really rough. And this one's a lot cleaner. The last thing you'll be needing, which is kind of crucial, an LPS jacket. And yes, you're probably thinking, what the heck is this video for if I don't even have a jacket? And you're probably here to make a jacket because you don't have one. Here's how I make LPS jackets. So first you want to take your LPS jacket and since they're flimsy, you can do this and this is what you'll be tracing and making a template out of. Since I lost my template, I'll be making a new one and I recommend you save the template so you can make more in the future. Take your paper, jacket, fold it like that. If you have multiple jackets, I recommend using one that you don't really like, but then again, this it doesn't really do much to it because as you can see, it went back to its original shape. You just want to unfold it and then what you want to do is trace it and then you'll have your template. So now that you've got your template, and it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you get the um, generic shape, you want to cut it out. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Then what you want to do is you want to use this template, trace it onto your tin foil like that. So what I've done here is I glued fabric to the template, which I haven't cut out yet. Then I glued another layer of fabric because it was a little transparent. So now I'm going to be cutting it all out. So this is what we have. And I think this one actually turned out pretty well. And now all you have to do is curve it into the shape you want. Right now I'm just curling in the edges. Do a little twirly twirl. Bend the front. And then I would put it on an LPS for reference so then you can see if it looks good. Fold it around the LPS. Bad boys in leather jackets who? I've tried felt and I literally almost burned my hand. I have no idea how. Felt got um, really messy so I don't recommend using felt unless you can find a way to make it work. And then you'll probably see some like a little, if it starts peeling, I recommend putting more super glue or just cutting it off. And yeah, and if you don't like the tinfoil underneath, you could actually try peeling the tinfoil off. And since it's covered in super glue, it'll keep its shape. Okay, so uh, after a lot of super glue on my hands, it's disgusting. I've made two jackets and a lot of failures. When making these jackets, it's okay to fail and make mistakes. I've made many, many mistakes. I think I've tried this five times and I only could get two right. But here is the black one. And we're going to add some details onto it. What I did was peel it off and literally you can just reuse it for another one, I guess. But um, it pretty much works the same. It's already in the shape. And now you don't have to have some ugly tin foil on the bottom and it doesn't make tin foil noises. The only thing is it's harder to shape it. And the good thing about this is that you can customize it to make it fit any of your LPS. So let's say the jacket doesn't really fit your cocker spaniel or your crouching cat. I would say when making your template, maybe make it a little bit bigger or make the hole bigger right here. Make these longer, make this wider. Whatever you do, it's all about trial and error really. And yeah, so let's get on to the painting. Okay, so we're going to be making a Nike. So what I'm going to be using is a tiny, tiny paintbrush. And if you don't have a paintbrush, you can use a toothpick or anything that you can put paint on with small detail and write. I'm using a small paintbrush and you'll also be needing white or actually any paint really. I'm using some acrylic paint that I use for customs. I literally got this from the dollar store so um, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write Nike right there and then I put the symbol right there. I could put it right there too a little. Now you want to be pretty careful with this because well 
it's hard to remove paint off of this. So here I have painted a little Nike words on there. Oh, now I'm debating on whether I should put a little check mark right here or if I should put it on the side or if I should do both. Okay, so I added a little um, Nike logo on the sides. Okay, so I think I might just keep it like this. Okay, so now we're going to be doing Adidas and I'm just trying to pull up a picture of some Adidas logos. We're going to go for an iconic design. For this design, we're going to be going for an iconic design like this where we'll have a little logo. I chose this logo because it's like easier in my opinion. We're going to have that on the side just like the Nike and we're going to add the iconic stripes. I'm going to add stripes probably this way and on the other side and then right in this corner right here I'll put the little logo. Okay so this is what we have so far and honestly this looks super adorable and I'm going to fix this side up with some black paint because I messed up. And now we're just going to have to add the little logo on the side and this is honestly probably one of my favorite jackets. Okay so I fixed up some of the... I tried doing something there and it looked bad so I tried going over some black paint. Hopefully it's not too... it's definitely noticeable. Um, this side I fixed up a little bit with the black paint as you can see. So I'm going to try making the logo here. The paintbrush was too big so I'm going to try using um, something more fine tip. I don't have toothpicks so I'm going to use a pin or like wire so we'll see how that works. So here are the final results. I'm actually pretty happy how it turned out. I was going to put words on this one, but then it wasn't fitting. So I just end up with this, but it is super adorable and I'm definitely going to make more of these for myself. These two jackets are actually for my friend, LPS Unoya, because we're doing a trade. So I'm really excited. Oh yeah, this is not Sebastian anymore. But yeah, that is how I make LPS jackets. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of requests to make this. So hopefully this helped a little bit. Be super careful when making these. You're dealing with super glue, which pr which pretty much burned me. It was like getting super hot and my fingers are all messed up now. So be super careful. And especially if under the age of 13. Thank you all for watching today's video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed or subscribing, please press the little bell icon to always get notified when I post a new video. Comment down below videos you'd like to see next. And as always, stay bright my rainbows and have a wonderful day. Bye! Stuck in my brain.